Does the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution, the right to bear arms, need a 21st century makeover? Welcome to the Fashionable Citizen Network, where today we delve into a timely discussion. Our first presenter, a vibrant, multicolored haired lady, begins with the interpretation of the Second Amendment. She argues that the Founding Fathers' original intent was to provide a means of defense against a potentially tyrannical government. She emphasizes that the right to bear arms was meant as a safeguard for liberty. Next, our second presenter, a seasoned Asian businessman, takes the floor. He counters that the amendment, written in the late 18th century, couldn't possibly foresee the advancements in weaponry we have today. He asserts that when the Founding Fathers penned arms, they referred to muskets and not semi-automatic rifles. He calls for a reinterpretation of the Second Amendment to suit modern times. Our third presenter, a muscular army veteran, then addresses the issue of gun control. He argues that while control is necessary, it should not infringe on the rights of law-abiding citizens. He suggests that the focus should be on enforcing existing laws and improving mental health infrastructure, rather than imposing stricter gun control. The multicolored haired lady then tackles the question of whether the Second Amendment encourages violence. She argues that guns don't cause violence, people do. She points out that the majority of gun owners are responsible citizens who never commit violent acts. The businessman, however, disagrees. He argues that the presence of guns increases the likelihood of fatal incidents, intentional or not. He highlights the correlation between high gun ownership and high gun violence rates in the United States. Our Army veteran then discusses the impact of the Second Amendment on personal safety. He suggests that guns can provide a sense of security and can be a means of self-defense. He emphasizes the need for responsible gun ownership and proper training. Finally, our presenters discuss the political implications of the Second Amendment. The lady with the multicolored hair argues that the right to bear arms is a fundamental part of American identity, and any attempt to alter it could cause significant political upheaval. The businessman, however, views the issue from an international perspective. He argues that other developed countries with strict gun control laws have lower gun violence rates and suggests that the United States could learn from them. Our veteran concludes by emphasizing the importance of a balanced approach. He believes that while the Second Amendment is crucial, it should not hinder efforts to ensure public safety. In this heated debate, three perspectives emerged. One advocating for the preservation of the Second Amendment as a safeguard for liberty, another calling for its reinterpretation to align with modern times, and the last emphasizing the need for a balanced approach to gun control. This debate continues to polarize the nation and it's clear that the conversation around the Second Amendment is far from over.